everybody in today's video I'm going to uh, show you how I upgraded the fan on my really cat really cat shut up okay hold all right sorry about that so anyways uh, the graphics card here my uh, graphics card started making a weird uh, like a real fucked up sound it was really loud like I was playing my PS5 the other day and I had my headphones on and I could still hear it it sounded like a mix between a jet engine and a old truck like tuck -a -tuck -a -tuck -a -tuck -a -tuck -a -tuck it was stupid so I turned the computer off and I ordered a fan for it I already did the job but I forgot to film it because I was in a rush so <laughs> I'm gonna redo all of it now I'm not gonna redo exactly all of it all over again but I'm gonna show you what I did and um, and I did upgrade my camera so you guys can get a better shot of it so here we go all right so yeah I'm trying out a thing where I have my camera strategically placed or mounted I guess you could say so I can uh, better handle this bullshit so I should have took this off before I started the damn thing, but it is what it is. Okay. So first thing is you want to turn off your computer, power it off. Hit the little button on your power supply to cut all the power. And then uh, make sure you um, wear a grounding wrist strap to protect your components from electrostatic discharge. Uh, if not, I'm gonna be like me. I touch metal every so many minutes or whatever, or try not to grab circuits. But I, I'm a little bit more advanced, so I don't wear a ground strap. I should, but I don't. But I, I don't want to say I'm better than y'all. I'm just saying I have more experience frying shit and not frying shit. So, anyways, moving right along, the so this is a graphics card. It's a G, uh, GTI 1050. It's a GeForce GTX 1050 Ti 4 gigs. Uh, made by Sotac. The fan was going out, so I decided to replace it. And I'm, I'm also going to show you how to, well, how I added more heating compound to it or cleaned it up or whatever the fuck. So where is my screwdriver? I had a little screwdriver. And now I don't know where the fuck I went. Well, let me go look for my little screwdriver. I'll be right back. Okay, so. I hope it's it. Okay, it's a little bit better, see? Yep, so. <coughs> first I start with taking the side screws. These screws are small ones, they're still inside. And, uh, they're very really little, so I have to find a screwdriver to find this bitch. But, found it. So, I'm gonna fast forward through this. Found something for you, I think. <laughs> okay, so. We're gonna screws. Just start with that. This is really hot. Okay. Yeah, the cover. Here's the fan. Uh, the original fan's gonna have three screws. Holding it down, it's gonna have um, the three screws are gonna be inside of there. I don't know if you can see that. There's one of them there, but there's three screws are there. So there's one right there. So you're gonna remove those. I need the fucking okay right there. So right there's good. So yeah, we uh, take the fan off and disconnect it. There's a connector here. You just carefully disconnect it. Carefully. Carefully. Oh shit, it's pulling the whole plastic off. Well anyways, um, you carefully disconnect it from there. Okay, I switched angles on the camera. Hopefully that's better. I'm gonna start over quickly from scratch. And I'm adding more light, so okay. So essentially, what we did is uh, just to recap: we took out the four screws that are on each side. There's there, and the other one is there. 
Uh, is it blurry? It's kind of blurry. Then we're taking off the fan. To take the fan off, we must, uh, there's three screws that hold it down. They're, uh, I guess you can see the hole right there. You see the hole? So anyways, they're the little mounting holes there. Now the wire, this one, the replacement one, doesn't fit exactly in there, right? It's got a big ass piece of plastic right there. That piece of plastic, if you can see it, that piece of plastic doesn't allow it to sit right. I don't feel like cutting it or measuring all that shit. Because two of the screws will still hold it down and it still works pretty good. It actually cooled my temperatures down pretty good having a fan that works. So, ah, oh, fuck, this isn't going to come out. Well, fuck, I'll just have to. So, uh, you have to unplug it from here, but since the little plastic piece came out with it, I can't take it out through there, but you have to take out the wire through there um, to get this heat sink out. So, I'm just going to have to leave it in there. I know it's a terrible example, so don't do it that way. So, now we got to take these screws out. There's four of them. And uh, when you reinstall these, we have to do it uh, corner to corner. What the fuck happened to my screwdriver? Alright. I know it's terrible. It's terrible. So, here we go. Take that off. And I'm not going to actually do the heatsink procedure thing again. I don't want to waste good heatsink compound because it's just expensive. But I use either not to well heatsink compounds or I use uh, Arctic Silver. I mean, I'm sure there's other ones out there that are good or better. But that's what I use and I've been using for years and it's never let me down. So, it's up to you which one you want to use. But uh, I'll put a link on the box below of this uh, compound that I use. I'll support the channel if you want to buy it. So anyways, it doesn't cost extra. So I, what I did is, there goes the heat sink. Heat sink. So you want to clean this because it's going to be dusty as fuck. You see how dusty it is? I don't know if you can see that. You saw that dust? <laughs> Shit. Anyways, um, damn, there's a lot of it. <laughs> <coughs> something that I missed so there's the thing um, so what I did is I got a little towel you can get some alcohol rub it down uh, if it has a pad you might want to use another pad but I think using the uh, thermal now, there's other people that are experts on this that will tell you oh this one needs a thermal pad and this one can use a heating compound look up their channels because I can't tell you which one's better but for me this worked so I'm using, um, like I said, the heat sink compound. I cleaned it up. I cleaned this side too. And what I did is I applied just a, like a, a pea-sized amount on there because it spreads with the heat. And uh, I might have put a little bit too much on there. but um, So I put it right in the middle, the pea size, And uh, this is what I got from it. So after you do all that, then you're going to put it back together. So that's the opposite of the, you know installation or whatever the fuck so this is this way fuck there we go yeah there we go where's my screw driver and my screw yeah boy moving right along light is so hot I know what you're thinking why the fuck are you working on top of a hard drive on top of another hard drive and I'll tell you why because F you that's why no I'm just kidding um, when I have free time I like to experiment with things so I'm always having parts around or doing crazy stuff and this is what I was telling y'all, do the opposite ends firster. Yes, that's a word I invented it, firster. Oh shit, it's not aligned. Uh, you can see the hole through. Oh bitch, there it goes, there's the hole. Oh fuck's sake. It. So it's kind of like a tire, you want to do the cross thread thing um, for each side. It's really easy to do this, it, it only takes 
maybe like five minutes to do but it obviously takes longer on a video so I'm going slower than what I normally do here we go <laughs> if you've been grabbing this thing here a lot and you're getting all sweaty and stuff it's cold in my room it's winter time but if you're getting all sweaty or whatever you don't want to wipe that down with some alcohol you don't want sweat and shit on there because it'll conduct electricity and it'll fry your shit you don't want that shit to get fried so like i was telling you now i will what the fuck happened to all my four screws did i have four why is there only two over there should have four. Oh no, they're over here. So this is going this way. Push it out. Push it out. So yeah, normally this doesn't. Uh, fuck, I'm gonna have to redo or relook at the video to find out what side this was on. Uh, that's terrible. You hear that? Sounds pretty cool. So this goes face down like that. The cable is going to be pulled through here. You should have done that before you put the heat seam thing back on. And obviously you want to clean all the dust off of it. So this is the plastic I was telling you about that gets in the way. Okay, so I modified the, the screw and uh, or the plastic and took that plastic off. Now it fits in there a lot better. Some of the replacement that you might get might not have that plastic piece. But this one definitely had it. So I recommend breaking it before installing it if it did you got to be careful though because the the wires for the power of the fan are right under that plastic so make sure to be careful with that because it will if you cut that plastic with the wires in there or wrapped around it it'll fuck your day up and you have to fix those wires which is possible but just don't fuck it up and you won't have to unfuck it up all right then i'll just have to align this plastic man i should have kept that other screw i don't know what the fuck happened to it but at least i have two out of the three that's terrible though you should you should want to do all three like it's supposed to be but it still works though i don't i don't doubt that it affected a little bit of its performance but i mean it's like it's flying off and shit you know it's still on there see so you now it spins freely and then we put the shroud over it yoink spins freely freely spins carefully carefully fuck your hard drive all right yeah should put on some music for y'all or something. I usually do. I don't like working in complete silence and shit. Have you ever seen that show Diablero on Netflix? It's pretty good. I recommend it. It's like kind of like Supernatural. Mixed with Ghostbusters, but it's in the capital of Mexico. But it's really good though. It's more uh, down to earth. More realistic. In a way. I mean, I know it's demons and shit, but... It's, um, I don't know, it's more like down to earth, you know, like you got common folk Mexicans and the way they really act and shit like that, it's, it's, it's really cool. Like a lot of shows, they'll have people that are the stereotypical tough guy or the, that's tough but sensitive or, you know, I don't know, damsel in distress or whatever, like this one, it's like, everybody has unique, a unique personality and they stick to their weaknesses and strengths, you know, so it's not like, oh, you know, I'm, I've always been you know scared of this or i think i'm a failure or whatever all of a sudden oh, no i'm not the greatest i'm not a failure anymore and it's like they kind of adapt to it you know adapt to their fuck i should have connected that shit before well i still gotta look it up see which one's which so yeah you definitely want to connect this before you put the shroud on there but i have to look it up and i'll fix it i'm just gonna finish putting the thing on there anyway sometimes it's a fucking video so yeah i'm gonna have to redo that uh if you have any questions let me know if you need help on anything else let me know um i don't mind doing some stuff the next video i'm going to do here in a few minutes is uh, actually i'm going to do a my plex server install it and i'm upgrading the case well i don't have a case right now for it it's just running willy-nilly so i'm going to put it in a case and show you how i do that i'm not going to show how to install the the nos software i can if request it i'm just going to show how i build that computer and run the cable and stuff like that for cable management so anyways i'm going to wrap this video up uh, any comments suggestions let me know uh, please subscribe you want to buy any of these parts or whatever uh, please do it helps the channel it doesn't cost you any extra uh that's all i got subscribe love you bye